Hey, what's going on, all you ghouls and ghosts out there? My name is Mike Macabra, and welcome to the graveyard. As always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos, Friday Night Frights, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But on tonight's episode, we have another reviews and reactions. And coming back to the channel, Los Haibas with their song, Cachion del Sur. I do believe that translates to Song of the South. This request comes to us by Perla Intvine and King James. Thank you both for the lovely, lovely request. A link to the original video will be down in the description box for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. I do believe this song is uh, from Antarctica. So super excited about that. Uh, this will be a blind reaction, uh, as I do not know this uh, particular song by Los Haivas. But uh, without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, ghouls and ghosts, Cachion del Sur, Los Haibas, en la Antartida. Probably butchering that, I do apologize. <laughs> Love the classical guitars. Acoustic, excuse me. Those pianos sound icy to me. Absolutely beautiful locale.
and his synth work straight out of Pink Floyd. to think much about this one. See in the review section. Alright, ghouls and ghosts. That was Los Haibas with their song Cachion del Sur Song of the South in Antarctica. Again, this request comes to us by Perla Intveen and King James. Thank you both again for the lovely, lovely request. Link to the original video will be down in the description box. Free viewing pleasure at your leisure. Definitely reminded me of Pink Floyd, as I said. Especially with the synth work. Great piano work. Great bass sound. Great bass tone. Loved the acoustic guitars. Amazing vocals, amazing vocal harmonies, amazing locale, breathtaking, sure is cold, but um, I would have to guess they were doing it during the summer, or at least when it's hotter in the Antarctic, because I, I mean, it can, you know, freeze you to death in minutes. I, I don't know if I'm... Uh, being uh, hyperbole or not, but I know it's very, very cold. And especially when you're trying to breathe in and try to sing. Obviously, I don't know if they were actually like singing. They might have might, might have just been mouthing, but <laughs> either way, it, it's got to be cold. 
and the fact that he was almost in the uh not the lake, the sea. It was very dangerous. Mad props for that. Getting your footing, getting that heavy ass piano without it falling into the water. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that. But um one thing I didn't even notice to to be honest with you, was he his hands covered up as he was playing the piano, or were they just his fingers out? I'd have to go back and check it out. <laughs> <Told him. Boom. laughs> but musically, besides everything I just mentioned, this is like, for me, it was a close your eyes and just feel it. It was very atmospheric. I said it was very icy feeling to me. Also, with the, the winds blowing, I don't know if that was um, something that they uh, taped in the Antarctic or if it was done in post or through like a, a tracking, a backtracking kind of thing. Either way, it fit. Um, I was transported there. It made me a little chilly. It was very calming, though. Uh, yeah. I think my favorite part of the music video is that little fat uh, seal there. Oh. <laughs> but other than that, I I think the the vocal work really sold it for me. Yeah. Score. Again, no brainer. Five skulls out of five. This this band just. It, I don't know what it is about it, but it, it, it hooks me. It transports me to this amazing soundscape. I mean, I love prog rock to begin with. I, I grew up listening to Pink Floyd, Hawkwind, several other prog bands. I can't think of them right now. Obviously, Pink Floyd being the most uh, famous of the bunch. It's very artistic, very meaningful to me. I like being transported to the soundscapes that are unearthly and earthly, creepy, atmospheric, anything that you can think of. Yeah. So that's why I got the score that it did. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Reviews and Reactions. As always, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment. Share the video. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos, Friday Night Frights, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But as always, ghouls and ghosts, stay scared. Ah!